All right, folks, welcome to our final project. I'm going to give you a little bit of a break from spinning circles in the intro, okay? Awesome. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building this animation that you see here on the left, and we're going to go through it in a few different stages, and we're going to be teaching you some new things as we build it, all right? In this first video, I'm going to focus on the file setup, just go through the HTML structure so you know exactly what it is that we're animating. And then we're going to just build a very basic sequence of animation, not really concerned with the timing and the position of the tweens and all that stuff. Uh, then we're going to talk about timeline defaults, which allow us to apply the same properties to every tween in a timeline. Super helpful. And then I'm going to show you GS Dev Tools, which gives us a little DVR style controller for our animation so that while we're building and debugging, we can scrub through, speed it up, slow it down. You're going to love it. And then we're going to end up by doing some fine tuning of, you know, the durations of the tweens and the positions. And then lastly, lastly, we're going to show you how to remove the flash of unstyled content, F-O-U-C, which sometimes happens when things show up before your JavaScript kicks in. So there's a lot to cover. I've broken it down to these small little modules, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So let me show you how this file is set up. So here I have my start file opened up, and what I want to do is just run you through the HTML structure so that you can understand what we're targeting when we build the timeline animation. So everything is inside of a div with an ID of demo. And in there for the text like creative and process, we have a heading one, we have a heading two, and then we have a paragraph that says learn how to find inspiration, blah, blah, blah. And then we have a button with read more text in there. That's all fairly straightforward. What may be new to some of you is what comes next, where we have a div with an ID of images, and then we have an SVG. Okay, I wanted these things to scale nicely, so I'm using an SVG file, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. And if I scroll down, there's a whole bunch of style stuff that Illustrator pumps out for me. But what I want to focus on is there's a group with an ID of items, okay? And inside that group of items, you're going to notice that you have a group with an ID of Earth. And then you're going to scroll down. And that's probably this planet thing right here. And then we're going to scroll down even more. And we're going to find that we eventually have another group of something else. Here we go. G, ID of controller right here. So each one of these graphics is sort of wrapped inside of a group with, with an ID. And as I keep scrolling down, we're going to come across different groups. Now this SVG code can be sort of a nightmare to make any sense of because it's all just a bunch of drawing instructions. But you'll see also that we have a group with an ID of basketball. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a staggered animation where we just say, hey, let's get every group inside of that element with an ID of items. So I actually have a graphic I want to show you where everything's labeled and probably a lot easier to make sense of than like hundreds and hundreds of lines of this SVG code, all right? So let me hop on over to, so here I have everything labeled. We have our heading one, our heading two, our paragraph, our button, and then we have this items thing, all right? So it's a group with an ID of items. And inside of items, there's all these different groups. So I'm marking them in green with this G tag. When we select these elements here that we want to animate, we're going to do it with a string of hash items space G. And that's going to give us every group in items. And we'll use that string to do a cool little staggered animation.